Now, what I would like you to do, do you think you could do something for me? Yeah, okay. I want you to put your hands like this. Okay. And I want you to put them up here. And I want you to carefully pull them down over here. You are imagining you have got a hat that helps you think. So put it on. Okay. And then I'm going to ask you a question and I want you to think about the question and nod your heads, can you nod, if you've had that happen. All right, so are we ready? You've put it on, you can put your hands down now. Have you ever felt alone? I have. Have you ever felt really sad? Down in the dumps. Mum doesn't care. Dad doesn't care. Nobody likes me. Nobody's listening to me. There's a lot of nodding going on over here. Well, I have another question. When you're feeling this way, who can you trust to hear you, to listen to you, and know how you're feeling. Mm, good boy. But stand up if you think it's family. Stand up if you think your family knows how you're feeling, can listen to you and help you when you're sad. All right. Well, that's pretty good. You can sit down again now. But, you know, family are not always with you. What happens if you're at school or at preschool or something and family's not there? And sometimes families are broken. So that's not good. They're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to trust them. Stand up if you think maybe friends could help you. Oh, oh well, okay. Righto. Hang on a minute. Sometimes friends are not always with you, are they? And sometimes you have a bit of a blue with your friend. I want to play with that. No, it's mine. And you're not friends anymore. So can you trust them to know you, understand you, listen to you? What about, and I think I've got a picture here somewhere, what about a policeman? Could you trust a policeman? Uh, maybe a doctor. Have I got a doctor here? A doctor? What happens when you want to make an appointment to go to the doctor and there are no appointments? A doctor or a policeman, they're not always there. Now, you might remember, we learned a verse last week, the week before, the week before, the, for quite a long time. And the verse reminded us that God promises to be with his people and with his family when? Sometimes? Big people, we might need a hand. No, all the time. Thank you. Exactly. Good girl. All the time. God promises to be with his family all the time. And a long time ago, there was a man called David. And yes, he was a king. Before he was a king, he was a shepherd. And uh, he was feeling alone. Guess what? Enemies had caught him. His enemies had caught him. And he was feeling alone. But... He remembered that God promises to be with his people and he knows their pain. He knows when they're lonely. There was also another man and he was a carpenter. And his enemies caught him. And you know what they did? They put him 
on a cross. I think some of you can guess who it is. He was all alone on that cross. No family. No friends. No policeman. No doctor. His name was Jesus. Jesus. Okay, big people, can you help us? His name was Jesus. Thank you. He cried out to God because he remembered God's promise to always be with his people, to hear them, to know their pain, know their loneliness. And just like the verse we, lo- we learnt, God is always with us. So God helped David and God listened to Jesus and raised him from the dead. Wow, that's pretty good, isn't it? You don't look convinced. If God heard Jesus and raised him from being dead, is that good or what? That's amazing. Thank you. Incredible. So today, tomorrow, next week, next year, when you're sad, when you're struggling, when you feel like nobody cares, you can remember the promise of God and you can cry out to God. Just like he heard David and the Lord Jesus, he will help you and hear you. Let's pray. Dear God, help us to remember you are always with us and help us to cry out to you, to look to you and know that you will help us. Amen.